remove it, it records the points in that path. It records the x and y coordinates of the touch as we move it. It then checks to make sure that the movement is within what they've defined as the threshold. In other words, if you just bumped your finger slightly, it doesn't want to record that as a touch, right? Because no one can keep their finger perfectly still on the screen, so there's a little tolerance built in. It doesn't consider it a touch if you don't move your finger a little bit. Now, when that touch, when that touch event ends, we go and we grab the line from there, and we draw it on the bitmap canvas. Okay? So what we're doing now is we are updating the bitmap that's in memory. We're not actually updating the screen. We're updating the bitmap canvas, and if you remember, the bitmap canvas is what corresponds to the bitmap, but that bitmap is in memory. That bitmap is not the image associated with the image view. Where do we update that? We update that here on the on draw event. This is what actually draws it on the screen. What does this on draw event do? The first thing it does is it draws the bitmap that was saved in memory. And then it draws all the lines that are currently in progress. All right? That's what's in this draw path. Uh, or, I'm sorry, that's what's in this path map. There's all the lines that are currently in progress. So let's trace through this. Let's, let's play Android and see what happens. And I won't consider the paintbrush for this example. We'll just say it's a simple paintbrush so we don't have to worry about the colors or anything. We have our bitmap that's on the screen. We have a bitmap canvas that lays over top of that. All right. We have our bitmap in memory. We have the canvas that lays over top of that. We then have a list of paths. And again, I'm going to keep it simple and only consider one path. I'm not going to consider multiple touches. This over here will be what the user sees. All right, so I come with my big finger and I touch here. That starts an on-touch event, all right? What happens with that? It's gonna start, it's gonna remember the ID for this touch event, we'll just say it's one, and it's gonna remember the points that I've drawn in it, all right? So, as I'm drawing this,
Two things are happening. All right. It's drawing it on the bitmap in memory. And every time the invalidate comes up, we take what was in memory. And again, there could be a timing issue here. So maybe what's in memory is nothing. Takes what's in memory, redraws it in the, in the view, and then adds any path that currently is here. So let's say I go down like that, it'll complete the line like that. Let's say then I switch to red, and I start going, and I start here. All right? Start going like this. There'll be another path. And as I'm moving it, let's say I move it diagonally, I'm going to take what is in the memories bitmap, make that the bitmap that's part of the view, and I'm going to draw the line that's currently being drawn. When I'm all done with that event, then I draw it onto here. If we didn't do this sort of two approaches, one of the two things would happen. If we didn't update the views canvas, then we wouldn't see lines until it was finished. All right? Because when does it draw it on here? It draws it here on the, uh, the, 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 the touch done event. Touch finish, I forget what it's called, but the touch finished event. So it, it only updates this one when the touch has ended. So if we didn't update this canvas, we wouldn't see the line until I was done drawing it. I would draw the line and it would pop up. If I only updated this, and I didn't update this, then it would draw the line and get rid of it again. Because I, I would have drawn it on the screen, but I wouldn't have recorded it in memory for future things. Why do I need to record it in memory? Why can't I just draw it on here? Because I want my brush, all right, to not be constant. I want, uh, I want to be able to change the brush and so forth. Therefore, if I change the brush, I need to record where all this stuff happened before, where all this stuff was, all right? Every time I do an on draw event, I'm redrawing the whole picture effectively, all right? Keep in mind these things happen really rapidly, so it just looks like I'm adding something to it. But I'm redrawing this from starting with a blank canvas each time. But the first thing I do on that on to redraw event is I take the, the, the bitmap that's in memory and use that to draw the starting point, and then I add the line. So let's look at the code, and let's play around with commenting some of the code out to see what happens. In fact, let's guess what happens. I'm going to comment different lines of code out, and you tell me what you think it's going to do. I'm in the on draw event. I'm, I'm going to comment out this first line that says, canvas draw bitmap, bitmap, zero, zero, paint screen. What's going to happen if I comment that out? Tell you what, spend a second thinking. 
thinking of that? I don't have my cable. I don't think I do. Shoot. <coughs> go grab my cable and I'll be back. Question is, what will, what's going to happen if I comment that line out? I'll tell you, when I first looked at this example, if I'm not mistaken, I did this very thing. I didn't understand exactly why it was doing all this updating. So it was kind of like, well, let's see what happens if we don't update it. Let's remove this line of code and see what happens. And by doing that, it became very clear the purpose of these things. So that's something I kind of encourage you to do. If you're not sure what something is doing, take a look at and, and, and comment out a, uh, a piece of code. and run this and see the effect that that has getting rid of that. Do we have any guesses? There's no money on the line. So don't have to worry about that. out with an all black screen instead of a white screen. That's interesting. Let's go and let's make the color something that we can see. So we'll make the color red. I can draw a red line. Well, I let go, it disappears. All right. So why is that? Well, any, any thoughts now that we've seen what happened? We can be like weather forecasters. In fact, that's what I was. It's like you can't predict what's going to happen, but after it happens, you can explain why it did. <laughs> it didn't write, write it to memory in order to recreate it. It didn't write it in memory in order to recreate it. All right. So therefore, this line of code, or these lines of code, were still executing. All right. So therefore, active lines, it's drawing. So it has that path array to contain all that stuff. All right, and therefore, as we're drawing it, 
these lines of code draw the lines that are active. But when we finish it, because we're not pulling back that from memory every time we draw a new one, we lose it. All right? When we execute the on draw event, remember, we're redrawing the whole screen. All right? That's one thing that might be a little confusing. We're not just like adding something to the screen. Therefore, every time we call the on draw event, we better remember what that screen looked like before. All right? Um, so that we can use it to reinitialize it. Now, one thing we could do is we could keep those events in that path map forever. So that path map wouldn't contain just the active lines, but would contain all the lines we ever drew. Well, number one, that seems like overkill. And number two, would run into the problem of not being able to change the paintbrush. Because if we were redrawing those every single time, would be redrawing them with the current paintbrush. So if we first drew it as green, then changed the paintbrush to red. If we redrew it, and if it stayed in that array, then we'd be redrawing it as red, and that's not a good idea. So this is needed to refresh this. This also explains, by the way, why um, the screen is um, white to begin with, because the bitmap this guy here, I initialized somewhere up there as being all white. All right. So since we're not executing this code, we're not taking that all white bitmap and popping it on our screen. All right. And therefore, you know, we, we start with a black screen. Now, the other thing we can look at is... this touch ended event where I go and I draw the line on the bitmap canvas. almost probably guess this. I'm not updating it on the bitmap canvas. Very good. It will do the same thing. All right. Why will it do the same thing? Because you don't rewrite it back to the canvas. Well, right. In other words, if I if I somehow break the mechanism where that bitmap in memory gets updated, and that is used to update the view then it's not going to remember what the drawing was before. So the first way I broke that mechanism is I didn't restore the bitmap every time I redraw the screen. This way I'm doing essentially the same thing by I'm not updating the bitmap in memory. So I'm restoring it, but it never gets updated. So therefore every time through it's going to start with a clean slate. The only difference being is this time the screen's going to be white. Because I am updating the view with the bitmap. It's just that I'm never updating that bitmap down here because I've commented that line of code out. All right, I've commented that line of code out. So let's test our theory and see if we're correct. All right, first part of the prediction is right. The screen's white, it's not black. I draw it, disappears. So you're absolutely right. It essentially works the same way before. The only slight difference is because we are refreshing the bitmap 
I'm sorry, refreshing the view from the bitmap. We're just not updating the bitmap. We start with the white screen instead of the black screen. In the other case, we weren't updating the view from the bitmap, so therefore we started with the black screen. One more. What if we comment out these two lines of code? What effect will that have? Will it not draw the line when, when you move the finger across? You're half right. Pardon me? You'll, you'll take it? All right. Yeah, bat, you know, baseball season, batting 500 is pretty good. What's the other half? It won't draw it while you're moving your finger across. Well, let's, let's see. It'll just appear when you're done. Right. Because, remember, what this line of, these lines of code are is that is the lines that are in process. So if I don't draw those to the screen while it's in process, I still have the code that is updating the bitmap, but that code doesn't kick in until the touch is done. All right? So therefore, I'm still remembering in that bitmap in memory the line I'm drawing. I'm just not drawing it while it's taking place. So. As I draw it, I get nothing until I lift my finger up, then it appears. All right, we're going to experiment with something. Let's put all of our instructions back in and let's start commenting out some other things. I forgot how much fun this was play guess what the program's going to do. And this really is genuinely a good way to, to learn code, especially if you see a section of code you're not sure what it's going to do. What if I comment out this reset path at the end of the touch ended? tell you, I'm not sure. I think I know what's going to happen. We'll see if I'm right. What this will do is this will never lose track of a line that I've drawn. So it's going to redraw the line every single time. It's never going to forget to say, hey, I'm done with this line, so forget about it. Therefore, I think it will have the effect of if we change the, the paintbrush, um, when it redraws the screen, it will redraw it with um, the new colors as opposed to remembering what colors were there before. But I could be wrong. Let's see. Oops. Let's go and let's make red and white. So I draw it, it's there, I draw it, it's there, I draw it, it's there, so far so good. I go and I change the color of this from red to green. Draw it. That's not what I thought was going to happen. 
I stand corrected. My guess would be that the only negative impact then of getting rid of that code is that you're accumulating a lot of stuff in memory that you no longer need. All right? But it's interesting. That was a little bit surprising for me. Probably, yeah. I, I would think, actually, now that that didn't do what I thought it did, kind of all bets are off with me. <laughs> uh, but I would guess that could potentially be an impact, the fact that you just got a lot of stuff uh, in there that you don't really need. Maybe. Let's try commenting out the two resets and see what that does. Maybe I only did half the job. upside down. Ah, there we went. When I got rid of both resets, when I changed the colors, It changes the colors for everything. So if I go and change this to blue now, or black, I guess is fine. Notice there's four green lines on here, or five green lines. As I draw the next line, it changes color. So my intuition was right. I just needed to do that in two places instead of one, commenting out the reset. Because reset is, is what clears out something from the list of uh, lines that um, are currently being drawn. And if I comment out both those resets, it assumes that every line that I've ever drawn is currently being drawn. And as such, it draws it with the current paintbrush as opposed to remembering um, the previous bitmap. As always, the points of these exercises is more than the just understanding the, 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 the specific application that we're looking at. The point of this one, what's new about this one, number one, the accelerometer and how we use that. Uh, number two, the, the what? The objects that are used in drawing, the paint, the canvas, the bitmap, and the view, and how those are used to draw the screen. The third point is about the on-draw event, how the on-draw event draws the entire view. It doesn't simply add to the view. So, therefore, there needs to be some mechanism to remember what it was before if that's important to you. Like in this case, we're adding on to a drawing. So that on draw event fires off um, and redraws the entire screen. It fires off initially when the view is created. It also fires off anytime we invoke the invalidate method. Because the invalidate